वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर्टीन डैश सिक्स दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्राम चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन इनर्जी मैथड्स एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाई आर सी एपलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ पी इज सिक्सटी किलो न्यूटन डिटरमाइन द टोटल स्ट्रेन इनर्जी स्टोर इन द ट्रस ईच मेम्बर हैज क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ टू पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन पावर थ्री स्क्वेयर मिलीमीटर एंड इज मेड ऑफ ए थर्टी सिक्स स्टील सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द ट्रस दैट इज मेड अप ऑफ डिफरेंट मेम्बर A B B C C D and A D and each having area is this one. So you can see the area of each member is shown in meter. It is this one. Clear. And there is a load P which is equal to sixty kilo newton. So due to this load, uh, there will be uh, axial stresses in this member. So you have to find the total strain energy stored in this truss. So what we will do is that first we will find the normal forces so i will write it so the normal forces can be obtained by using method of joint by normal forces by method method of joints so we'll apply method of joint in order to find the forces in this method uh, in this truss so what we will do is that first we will take joint a so you can see this is joint a so due to this load there will be tens tension in this member ab as a result member ab will exert force in this direction at, at point a and due to this load there will be extension in this member ad as a result this member ad will exert a force in this direction on this point so we will draw the free body diagram so this is your point a clear this is load p which is acting downward and this is equal to 60 kilo newton this member ab exert a force in upward direction clear that is represented let this force is fab and the member ad will exert force in this direction at point a let, let this force is fa d so by using equation of equilibrium we will find this force so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to 0 and force in this direction is taken as positive so minus f a d there is no other force is equal to 0 so it means that f a d force in member a d force member a d exert on point a is equal to 0 now what we will do is that we will apply another equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so fab is upward minus 60 kilo newton is downward their sum must be equal to 0 so fab is equal to 60 kilo newton now this is the force that this member f Uh, this member ab applies at point a so as a result due to newton third law the force in this member ab is tensile so we will write it this force is tensile force in member ab now we will apply uh, the same for joint b so let me draw joint b so you can see this is the joint b here i will draw the point joint b so due to this load this member ab will extend so this member ab will exert force fab in this direction at joint b and this fcb will apply force in this direction so i will draw it so fcb is in this direction this is fcb clear and there is a f a b in downward direction so f a b we have already calculated that is 60 kilo newton clear and this member due to this there will be compression in this as a result this member exert force at point b in this direction let this force is f c d so f c d will be in this direction this is f c d also you can see the length 1.5 and 2 so here if i draw the triangle right angle triangle so if i multiply 2 with both side multiply with this and this 
to get this will be 4 this will be equal to 3 and this will be 5 so we'll get i will draw the same triangle over here because it defines the ratio of the side so this length is 4 this is 5 uh, 3 and this is 5 now we'll apply equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so you can see one force which is 60 kN that is downward plus this force will have two component one along x direction and one along y direction so its vertical component will be equal to if you take this fcd and vertical component will be equal to fcd sine of theta that this is theta is equal to zero so minus 60 plus fcd and sine of theta will be equal to 3 over 5 perpendicular over hypotenuse so this is perpendicular and this is over hypotenuse so 3 by 5 their sum must be equal to zero so again when you solve this you will get fcd will be equal to fbd not fcd this is fbd this is fbd so fbd correct it as well fbd fbd is equal to 100 kilo newton now this fbd is the force exerted by this member fbd on point b as a result the load or force in this member bd is compressive in this direction clear so i will write it here as compressive now we'll apply another equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see fcb which is negative so minus fc b or fbc plus fbd cos of theta this component fbd cos of theta their sum must be equal to zero so minus fcb this is fbd okay plus fbd is 100 kilo newton so 100 and cos of theta will be equal to 4 over 5 is equal to zero so from here we will get this fbc is equal to 80 kilo newton now this is the force that member fbc exert on point b clear as a result force in member bc will be in this direction so it will be in tension so i will write it over here tension now you have all the loads so we will uh, also we have the area which is given as 2.5 into 10 is to power minus 3 square meter so the length over here bc is 2 meter ba is 1.5 so you can calculate this length as well by using Pythagoras theorem the length of bd this length bd there this is 1.5 this is uh, 2 meter so by using Pythagoras theorem this will be 2.5 meter so let me calculate it as well length of bd will be equal to under the root 2 square plus 1.5 square and that will be equal to 2.5 meter now we will come towards our main solution you know that strain energy due to axial loading is equal to n square l over 2 a E. since there are many members this member is in axial load this a member bear axial load this and this is zero because this fad is zero so for many members we will write some of all these members so i will one over two ae so we will take two ae common so n square in first member member a B. We will take this member A B. 
so a b load is 60 kilo newton so 60 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 multiply by length of a b is 1.5 meter so i will multiply it 1.5 plus this b c this b c so this b c having load 80 kilo newton so 80 kilo newton into what will be the length of bc so 2 meter here 18 to 10 to the power 3 multiply by 2 meter plus this bd so bd is having 100 kilo newton and length is 2.5 meter so i will write 100 into 10 to the power 3 multiply by 2.5 now what will be the e for for a36 steel the modulus of elasticity so we will get this from the property table and you can see that uh, you will use si unit so a36 is this one and e will be equal to 200 gigapascal 200 into 10 to the power 9 pascal so write down e is equal to 200 gigapascal or 200 into 10 to the power 9 pascal so put it in this value so u i u to axial loading strain energy store in this truss will be equal to 1 over 2 multiplied by area is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by this thing 60 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 1.5 plus 80 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 2 plus 100 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 2.5 now when you calculate it you will get strain energy due to axial loading interest comes out to be 43.2 joules so that is the answer of our this question so what we are going to do is that we will check that whether this is valid. So this result will be valid. This result will be valid if your uh, maximum stress will be less than sigma yield. So how you will find this maximum stress? So you can see maximum load between these one is this one the second one is this one and third one is this one so maximum load is this fab so we will calculate maximum load which is equal to sigma bd that is equal to 100 kilo newton so 100 into 10 to the power 3 divided by area and area is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you calculate it it will be equal to 40 mega pascal now for a36 steel yield stress is you can see yield stress is 250 mega pascal the unit is mega pascal so yield stress is equal to 250 mega pascal for a36 steel so you can see your maximum stress is less than yield stress so your answer that strain energy stored in this truss is 43.2 joule and that was all about this problem 14-6 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section Thank you for watching and supporting me.